Hi everyone, this is Tony from RealSense. In this video, I'll be showing you how to take accurate and precise water viscosity measurement on the M3 Rock instrument. So, before we get started, I would like to show you all the components that will be needed for this demo. You will need your M3 Rock system, M3 Rock chip, 500 microliter thermal jacket for the syringe. 500 microliter Hamilton syringe, your um, union, a plastic needle, and vials of 1% equest solution and water. Another thing to be noted is that the 1% equest solution can be either purchased directly from RealSense or it can be diluted from the 25% equest solution from Sigma Oldridge. And in order to get precise and accurate measurement, the syringes need to be absolutely clean. So in order to do that, we recommend the customers to rinse their, to rinse their syringe with isopropanol and to dry them with air duster. Before we started to set up our equipment, let's load the water sample into the glass syringe. So first, you would secure the plastic needle onto the union. Then you will, see, you will assemble the union onto your glass syringe. Once the syringe is secured, you may start drawing your sample. So, you know, draw the sample slowly and steadily. So no air bubbles can leak in, into your syringe. At around halfway, you may uh, invert your syringe. And oftentimes, you can see that there is a small air pocket at, at your piston end of your syringe. So in order to remove that, you want to first pull the barrel back a little bit until you see an air pocket at the top of your syringe. And then you would tap on the syringe with your palm until you see uh, the air pocket at the bottom flow to the top. All right, so once you see that, you may di dispense the air bubbles out by pushing at the piston. So just remember, you want to do that until you see water droplets on the top of the tip of your plastic needle. Then you may continue drawing your sample. So continue drawing your sample until the syringe is full. Now the syringe is full and you may disconnect the union. See, now it's disconnected, and you may push on the piston a little bit so you can see some water coming out your syringe. After loading the sample, we may proceed to set up the instrument. Just be noted that for most aqueous sample measurements, the chip either has to be filled with a quet or a full syringe of a quet has to be dispensed through the chip prior to the sample. Okay, so now we may secure the syringe onto the chip. But before you do that, you want to make sure that the valve is at a closed position and the sensor cable is connected to the chip. The reason we want the valve to be at the closed position is to protect the chip. So, finger tighten the syringe. and slide the pusher block down gently until it touches. So once you feel the engagement, you may turn a knob to lock your pusher block. And just be noted that the pusher block can only be locked at every full pitch of the lead screw. So sometimes you might have to slide your pusher block 
away from the syringe a little bit in order to lock it, but that's okay. So once, once everything's set, you may open the valve, shut the thermal jacket, and start your MVROC control program.